Anthony Barnell's Wedding School. There you go. Good boy. All right, you deserve a treat. All right, guys, today we are going to do a super fun experiment. I got Storm the Weather Dog here, and together we are going to create a tornado. It's gonna be really fun, and you don't need too much. All you need for this, you need a couple of bottles. Make sure they're clear. Uh, in this case, this is a one liter bottle. You can also use a two liter bottle, um, pop, water, whatever it is. You gotta drink whatever liquid's in there as well. And we're gonna use some tape to tape them together. We're also going to use some sparkles here to really show that tornado inside the jar. And we're gonna use a funnel to put all the liquids and then also the sparkles inside. And also one thing I did here, I pre-drilled a hole into this container. You can use a drill, you can also use um, scissors to get that hole. The main thing is you want it to be about a quarter to a half inch, a little bit less than the opening so that we can really see that tornado going. Storm, I'm gonna need I need both hands for this. So you go over there and we are going to have some fun. But safety always comes first in these experiments, like in the glasses. So let's get started. So we have a jar right here, plastic bottle. We're gonna use the funnel and we're gonna fill it up about three quarters of the way up. So we'll get that water in there. It's important to not fill it all the way up, and I'll show you why coming up in just a bit. It's also good to not fill it less than half. And there we go. That should be good. Now we're going to add some fun stuff. So for this, I picked gold. You can pick any color you want. And we'll just add some of that in. There we go. Looks good. Uh, by the way, if ever you've worked with these, they are <laughs> pretty messy. You might want to have a, a rag or a, a vacuum cleaner nearby to, to tidy all this up. One thing that I'm adding as well, I'm adding a little bit of uh, tin foil. And this is, I really like tornadoes. I, I love watching uh, the movie Twister was my favorite growing up. And when you had the cows and farm trucks going around uh, the big tornadoes, um, this is kind of my reenactment. These small little bits that uh, are really going to be picked up as the force, as the centripetal force accelerates down towards that hole. So we'll just add a few more of these in. And there we go. And now this is the tough part. So what you're going to do, you're going to attach the top. And we're going to basically tape this second bottle right up like this. So we need some tape. What I'm using here, this, you can use duct tape. This is actually packing tape. Uh, it's the same thing, but you're going to want to get... <laughs> What's that now? You're, you're going to want to get a pretty tight hold on things. So we'll just start things off right like that. And then you add the second bottle. And just try your best to get a good seal on here. And you know what? You might want to put down some newspaper or something if you're on a nice dining room table. Uh, it's just, just a good idea so that you don't uh, get everything soaked. So we've added one piece of tape. I'm going to add another piece as well just to make sure. It's a little sticky and messy. There we go. Now, some of you maybe have done this experiment before or done something similar, but when you use two bottles like this, it, it really shows what's going on. And also, you can just do it again and again and again. And I know the kids are gonna to wanna to do this time and time again. So when you have tornadoes, oftentimes you get a horizontal spin and then you get an updraft and that turns the spin vertically and then it's what's called a centripetal force that accelerates things. When you see a figure skater that goes faster and faster and faster as they bring their arms in, well, that is what we're gonna show you now. So let's try this out. As we flip it over, 
look what happens. You're gonna to wanna to give it a, a bit of a swirl up top to get that water through. So we give it a swirl. There we go. And look at that. We have created our very own tornado as it goes around and around and accelerates through the opening. Fun stuff, you wanna do it again? Let's try that one more time. So we're gonna flip it over, give it a little spin, and you can try different, doing different amounts of spin. And there it goes, look at that. A tornado gets all of the glitter in it. Wouldn't it be cool to see a glitter tornado or a water spout or something like that? It's a lot more fun than just hitting flush on the toilet bowl. <laughs> but it is actually the same process at work. Now we've slowed it down. I'm gonna show you a couple of slowed versions and you can really see what is going on. So basically, as let's use some of these uh, sparkles as an example. As they're on the outside, they go very slowly. And as they start accelerating towards the middle, they're gonna go faster and faster and faster as they get down towards the bottom and through that very small hole. And that's what happens when you get a funnel cloud up in the sky and then a full-blown tornado. Oftentimes you'll get debris that gets wrapped right up the center and it goes tighter and tighter through. So uh, it's just a fun experiment to do. And you can try adding different things. Now, ideally you want it to be light. You want it to float or maybe sink lightly. We'll do this one more time here. There we go, we'll spin it. And there is our very own tornado. This is fun, isn't it? I'm having fun. Storm, he's having fun as well. So this experiment uh, is called a tornado in a jar, in a bottle. Uh, and you can do this at home. What I've also uh, seen as you do it more and more, I wanna show you what happens if you don't spin it. So I'm gonna do this one more time. And as I flip it now, look what happens if you don't spin it. Notice how slowly that water goes. Look, it's barely even moving. The pressure now uh, is so much down here that you're not getting any, any water coming through. But look what happens if you give it a little bit of a spin. Still not much. We'll spin it a little bit more. Come on. And, oh, we're almost getting our tornado. There we go. This would be about an EF1. We wouldn't be talking the EF5, strongest tornadoes on earth. But it's pretty neat and my wife will like this. I haven't even made too much of a mess. So. That is how you create a tornado. Let me know if you maybe had luck with this. Maybe you made a big mess and it didn't work. And I'll try and give you some tips as well. Another experiment coming up next week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching Global News Weather Lesson with Anthony Farnell. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more weather lessons like this.